make sure it's recording. All right. So we're going to do the two core practical experiments today. And the first thing we are going to, oh wait, hang on, 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 hang on. Yep, there we go. Now you can see what we're doing. Um, first thing we're going to do is uh, fill in this table here. We've set up the circuits on FET Colorado. We're going to set the power pack to a low voltage. We're going to do five different settings and calculate the resistance. But this we don't have to do right now. That's going to be a separate lesson. And then we're going to plot the graph. And I'm going to do the graph plotting elsewhere as well. So here is the circuit that I have set up. We're going to be looking over here first at my series circuit. Now, what's the lowest setting I can get on a on a battery? It's zero. So we're all going to look at A1. A1 is here. I'm wiggling it now. That is zero amps. Look at V1. I'm wiggling it now. It's at zero volts. V2. It's here. It's connected in parallel to the V2 bulb. Zero volts. V3, connected in parallel, I've got voltmeter here, zero volts. These are the numbers that we should have so far in our table. A1, V1, V2, V3. I'm going to increase the voltage by, um, let's say 10. 10 will work, right? Yeah, 10 will work. A1. 0 0.3 amps, V1, oh, hang on, pardon me, that's incorrect, just as well everyone's using a pencil, 0 0.33 amps, V1 is 10 volts, V2, 5 volts, V3, 5 volts, and everyone's writing down all these numbers, yes? Oi, I've written down the numbers. Yes? Okay. Got to write down the numbers. Should look something like that. This video is going on YouTube. I'm going to name and shame if you get distracted again. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to my massive 195 subscribers. What? In its brother. You got the numbers, he who will not be named. I'm now I'm going to increase my voltage by another 10 volts. Please write down the numbers independently and then check to see if you got the right ones. I'm struggling to read it. There's the other ammeter. That's still A1. There's just two ammeters in one, one, one circuit. Here's what the numbers should look like. 0 0.54, 20, 10, 10. Don't wait. I ask you to try it yourself, okay? Don't just wait for me to finish and then you write down the numbers that I've got up on the board, all right? If you want to be named and shamed, my mass following. You increase your voltage again. He who almost didn't write down all the numbers last time, have you done it now? So V1 doesn't have a voltmeter because I only have two voltmeters. V1 is the um, battery, and it's just whatever I set it to be. So you can see down there in the bottom, it says 30 volts. Thank you for your question, anonymous person. I'm going to increase my voltage again, 40 volts.
for those listening on YouTube, the screaming coming in from the windows, it's not a murder. It's just children playing, having fun. Relaxing, relaxing, all cool. Shooting some people outside of the school. Copyright infringement, that isn't it. Mr. Will Smith is going to come after me because he's jealous of all my followers. Hey, laughing at You able to see? Squinty? Do you want to move up closer? Because you're squinting. Oh, where? Oh, there, that seat. You what? Or, I mean, grab that and sit here. Are you able to see is what I'm asking. What? Move forward. Am I a genius or what? I'm a genius. Let's go up to fifty vo uh, sixty volts, folks. Zero uh, one point oh seven. Sixty. 30, 30. I'm going to do the same for V6, V4, V5, A2, A3, A4. These are what your numbers should look like. We all see? It's not 0 0.3 cubed. It's just me being that. 0 0.33. Hands up if you got the same numbers as me, please. Toby? Beef is tasty. Sorry, I had to cover saying your name. Not that I did say a name. I definitely didn't say a name. Right. We're going to look at the parallel. This is V6 now, not V4. Bear that in mind. Its lowest setting is zero, so I'm going to put down zero for V6. This ammeter is now V4. This ammeter, uh, ammeter I call that. That's not an ammeter. It's a voltmeter. It's voltmeter, it's now V5, V4, V5. A2 is zero, A3 is zero, A4 is zero, V4 is zero, V5 is zero, and V6 is zero. I'm gonna go up by the same amount of volts. Put it 10 volts. Yes. So there's no voltmeter for V6, but I can control the voltage using this little doohickey. Doohickey is a good word for anything. We've got to 20. Oh, I hope this doesn't. Yeah, it will be fine. We've got to 20. And I'm going to go up to 30. What are you whispering about? I go too fast. Okay, helpful. Slower. I'm also, don't worry about any numbers you missed. Why am I whispering? 
don't worry, don't worry about any numbers you missed, because I'll show you the numbers in just a second. All right, so I'll just take these down and I'll show you in front. Thank you all for letting me know. Now, as we're doing this, do we see any patterns evolving? Do we see any patterns emerging in the numbers? Is there a pattern with the voltage? Is there a pattern with the current? Any kind of a pattern at all that we can see? I'm recording this. So try not to make any noise because you're late. I'm not late. Okay, just let us go. Okay. I'm going to go up to 40. And actually, I just got distracted there by Mrs. Not Late. There are the numbers for anybody who would like to double check whether theirs are correct. Do we see a pattern forming? Got all those numbers? I mean, I'm not going to jinx it or anything. This isn't often true. But I wonder if people could figure out what the next B4, B5, and B6 numbers are going to be. Fifty. I'm going up in tens. Oh, I see. Well, let's see if we're right. I didn't realize you were being funny. Sorry. Not because you're not funny, but because I'm not funny. What? You have to what? Yes, no, you have to you have to you have to laugh. That doesn't mean I think I'm funny. I I don't think I'm very funny, apart from my looks. But it's nice to make people it's nice I like to think I'm funny. That's all. Oh thank you. All right, I'm gonna go up to 40. B6 is 40, B4 is 40, B5 is 40. All the numbers? You got all the numbers? Huh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay, I'm going to move on. Uh, 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 uh. Exactly. So that car, that was the, the grunt and groan I was trying to give there. All right, I'm going to go up to 60. Yes. Which one? 2.98 up here? 2.98. These are what your numbers uh, should uh, look like. Can you just double check? Just 
So what we're looking at here was the rules of series and parallel circuits that we were looking at last week. Is it in a series or a parallel circuit that the voltage is the same, that the current is the same, that the voltage is shared, that the current is shared? And I think we can look at these numbers now and we can see which is the same and which is shared. For example, looking at V4, V5 and V6, when there's 10 volts coming out my cell, my battery, my power pack, each of these are exactly the same. So in a parallel circuit, the voltage across each of these branches will be the same. One point oh seven plus one point oh seven equals two point one four. The total current two point one four is equal to one point oh seven plus one point oh seven. The current is split in a parallel circuit, the voltage is the same. Series circuit, the current is the same everywhere. That's why I only need one measurement. But the voltage is shared between the bulbs. 5, 5, 10, 10, 15, 15. Each of these numbers, V2 and V3, which corresponds to each of these bulbs, when you add them together, you get the total amount of voltage. Anyway, I recorded that so you can listen to it later on. We're going to go on to getting data for our other core practical now, please. So can we find this page? No. Now, in this one, we can only find the voltage and the current. You've got to remember how to find the resistance, because I'm not talking about that now. I am not going to start with zero volts on this table. That's really, really bad. But we are going to start with zero volts when we're plotting our graph. Because when there is zero volts, is there any current? Can we see any current with zero volts? No. There's no current, there's no resistance. So I'm going to start off with 10 volts. Write down the voltage and the current, please. Write down what you think the voltage is and what you think the current is. The voltage potential difference is what I've set it to be. Tell you what, I'll move that down because I can use my voltmeters over here now, can't I? Move that voltage, that little thing there, that little thing there, that little thing there. Oh, what a. Did you. And then you. Of the. For goodness sake. On YouTube, that was going to sound like I was just swearing, wasn't it? You know, I was going to beep it out in the, in the movies and say an awful word. That was funny. Do we see the voltage? Okay. These should be these should be what your numbers are. Oh no, these. Oh no, wait, hang on. I've made a mistake. What mistake did I make? No, we're not doing the zeros. This is a bulb. Oh no. Right, if you have done that, if you've done what I've done and you've used a pencil and rub it out, and if not, then just fix, just just change the uh, label, change that into filament lamp, okay? Just cross it out. See, everyone can make mistakes, even the great and powerful McKelvey. Ah, like the great and powerful Oz. Have you ever seen the Wizard of Oz? Oh, you've never seen the Wizard of Oz. That's a messed up movie. It is a messed up movie, but it's really good. So this is what your numbers should look like. Filament lamp, 10 volts, 0 0.54 amps. That's all we're doing for now, okay? Just those, current and voltage. All right. I'm going to go up to 20 volts. Write down your numbers. You got that? Mm-hmm. Right, 
What what is confusing? Turn around. C. The board. Shout out the voltage player. Show me the voltage. Oh, can't ask you to show me in your fingers, can I? What the voltage is. All right, can you tell me what the voltage is now in your hand, please? What's the voltage? <laughs> this, right? Okay. And the current is... Why am I showing my fingers? The current is 0 0.37 amps, yes? C? Yes? I wrote, I'm just trying to, like, C just means yes. So all my Spanish followers are going, yes, yes. What? Yes, yes. It's what your numbers should look like. You see it? Have you written them down? I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to lose my temper on Teams and it's being recorded. And it's going to be up on YouTube because I'm not doing all this without putting it up on YouTube. <laughs> Let's do 30. Okay, brother, are we nearly done? <laughs> no, we're not, are we? Have you got 30 volts? Have you got the current for 30 volts? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go to 40. Thumbs up, please. If you're done, thumbs up. Show me. Look up your booklet. All right. B. Good. Good. Very good. Any? Uh, beef? Yeah. I know. I just, I just like a good steak. I like um, expensive. Okay. Like my, I like steak medium, with a peppercorn sauce. Mine, none of that Diane stuff. There's fifty volts. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but instead of with a resistor. Everyone go woo. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Oh dear, oh dear. This is the best class. Okay, remember, we're not doing zeros because we're just going to infer those because we don't have enough room. This is a fixed resistor, okay? Now, in theory, we should have a resistance of 10 ohms. But uh, let's see if that works out. I'm going to do 10 volts. Yeah. Yar, what were that? What were that? Oh, we're right, farmer. We're that 10 volts, one amp. Yes, Ben. Let's do 20 volts. Mm -hmm. And now, 30 amps. Okay, lovely. Tell me, what's confuzzling you? Right, so. Yeah, yeah, we are on the top thing. So this is two amps of current. Yeah, so that's, um, that's down there as current, A. And then the voltage will be down here. So currently it's at 20 volts, so I'm about to move it to 30 volts. Yeah. Okay, 
And I know it's confusing, but it's because when we start talking about everything, I want it all on one screen so that we can describe it to each other. And I didn't like my other class, so I didn't want to teach them. So they just basically coming in while I prepared this lesson for you. That's a joke. A complete joke. What did you say? You want to do what? Coloring. I recommend it. Has anyone ever done mindful coloring? No? All right. 30 volts on the screen. Anybody want to guess what the next number for current is going to be? 70. Correct. 40 volts, 4 amps. Spotting these kind of patterns is good. But it's always good to check. What's up? 50 and 5. Or as you say in Hull, Farve. 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 Fav. You, 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 you just say you don't speak like that while I'm hearing nothing but Fav. Fav. What? Five. But meant to say it doesn't mean no one has to say it any particular way. All righty. Ladies and gents. We now have to do a little bit of mathematics. You're going to do some mathematics while I do your tables. Eyes on the board. So the graph is going to go down here. At the top half here, you've got to work out some resistances. So B1, voltage is equal to 10 volts. Current is equal to 1 amp. Resistance is equal to I don't know how many ohms. B is equal to I times R. R is equal to V divided by I. R is equal to 10 divided by 1, 10 ohms. You are going to do the working out for these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 other questions. Yes, I'm going to leave. Say that one more time. Okay. You're going to do the full working out, otherwise I should give you a detention and you will be sitting with me tonight while I do detention. So, give one as well. so please, just do the full working out. That's the one I've just done on the board. No, oh, it's except we've got it mixed up, don't we? So that, do it there. So, V equals R equals 1, R equals V divided by 1. Okay, that's what we're doing. So, this is for the fixed resistance. Remember, some people had their tables swapped around. So you might, maybe, 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 these numbers are here for me. They might be down there for you. Ten divided by one? Yeah. Well, resistance is voltage divided by current. All right. But you've got to do your full working out for each. So it will be B is equal to... Where's my pen gone? So you'll do V is equal to 20 volts, I is equal to 2 amps, R is equal to I don't know how many ohms, V is equal to I times R, R is equal to V divided by I, R is equal to 20 divided by 2, R is equal to 10 ohms. Not hard. Just about practice. I did because you know how to do it. You don't need my help. R is equal to B divided by I. That's okay. Panic not. Yes, I have a channel. I do. WHA science, I think. Now, I just had a thought. I should probably stop recording this now, eh? Because otherwise it will get big.
Okay, everyone say goodbye to my, my loving fans. Bye. All two of them.